Well, welcome to day two of our 2025 online user group meeting. I know it's early probably wherever you are, so I hope you get your coffee on hand and ready to go for another great day. Um, I'm Todd. I'm Becky. And, and thank you so much for joining us. I know, like I said, it's early in some parts of the world for you. So if you're in the western side of North America, it's going to be crazy early. Mm. But thank you very much for being here for us. We appreciate you. Exactly. That's right. We've got a really <laughs> exciting day full of all kinds of great projects from all kinds of people, tips and tricks. So definitely tune in and, and keep on as long as you can. Yeah. So I can see a lot of you already in the chat. Uh, let us know where you're from. Mm. Uh, keep asking questions, big up the presenters and their sessions. Uh, we've got another day jam-packed full of awesome content, haven't we? Yes, we definitely do. That's right. And now if, if you're over on YouTube right now watching this stream there, we highly recommend that you head over to ugm.vectric.com and log in. And that way you'll get the full experience of this UGM, which is where you'll be able to chat with your peers. You'll be able to talk back and forth with the presenters. You'll be able to add your, your stuff to the gallery which is really exciting. Yeah. Take, take advantage of the chats. Get your questions answered that, that you've been waiting for a long time now to get answered. So please make sure that you're over at ugm.betric.com. Yes. And if you missed yesterday, oh, you missed on oh, wow. so much yes. stuff. But let's have a little rundown. What happened. Definitely. We, we, we will do exactly that. So. <laughs> So first of all, we had Edward Powell, the managing director of Vectric. Now he came in and he literally spilt the beans on what we've been working on and what we're, what we're going to be releasing in the future. Um, starting off with version 13, lots of great new stuff there. Um, this idea of this assembler. Yeah. Mm. I'm a slot together girl. I cannot wait. You are exactly that's right. And I'm a multi-part kind of guy, so you end up. This is going to be perfect. A multi-part kind of guy. Well, you know, I, 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 well, I can do that. Can I? I think I can. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I like to make multi-part projects. So to bring them together, so you can see how they fit before you actually cut them or be able to present them to customers. Yeah, your it's customers. Going to be oh, super helpful. Huge, 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 huge. Uh, he also showed off the advanced machining module. So if you have a machine that does special stuff, like has drill banks and so on, this machining module probably is something that you're going to, going to want to look at once it's released. It's definitely going to be a good one. Uh, and then we had um, EasyCarve. Now EasyCarve is, has been around for a little bit now and we've slowly been evolving it in the background, adding features, but now we've added in text. Everybody's been waiting for text in EasyCarve now. So if you're a subscriber, you're going to get that automatically along with multi-region. Multi so we'll have the ability to add more than just one piece of clip art, which is yep. which a big thing. So definitely, if you haven't tried that, I suggest you do. If Even if you're not a subscriber, we have some free stuff that you can give a, sh a shot at to see if this is what's going to fit your needs. Mm. So definitely hop over there and try that. And then we had AI. Mm. It, by the way, it doesn't stop there. There's still one big one after this. But AI is pretty neat. We've got a new app now where you can just buy a, via a prompt, you can create a, a Custom CNC ready relief, you know, we really worked hard to make sure that what it outputs is going to be right for your CNC industry or CNC machine. Uh, along with we can take pictures of things, yeah. you can bring in pictures of And not only that, yeah, that's just... you also, you know, if you're not into the 3D, you can sketch carve these. You oh, sketch yeah. carve everything. It's, it's big. So definitely that's something you might want to look into uh, when it's released oh, shortly, I think. Yeah, very Maybe, soon. Very soon, very soon. And then... I think probably not the biggest announcement, but the one that people have been waiting a long time for is we're releasing uh, Spark for the Mac. So we've dabbled into the Mac OS now with uh, a hobby sort of level product that uh, is going to be great just to kind of, kind of, if you're new to CNC, it's going to give you the tools that you need to really get going. And uh, yeah, definitely it's something that uh, you might want to look at if you're a Mac user. Um, Right now, obviously, our, our core software works under Parallels, which if you're using that, that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, but this lives on its own little world on a Mac. So, yeah, definitely have a look at that. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Edward mentioned yesterday about a beta test. Oh, that's right, so exactly. If you yeah. wanted to be a part of that beta test program, mm -hmm. uh, all you need to do is log into your Vinco account, and then there's a beta yeah, you test. Can Prompt somewhere. Sign up thing there, yeah, You'll yeah. find it. <laughs> exactly, and it's important because we want your your input on how to form these products. What you're actually, we're actually, what we're actually going to release in the future, and we need that input from you. Oh, we do, yeah. And Edward's session lives on forever mm. on YouTube on our website here. So if you did miss that, we recommend that you go back and Definitely. watch that if you're super excited to see what's coming from the Vetric team. 
Um, following that, we had a session from one of our fantastic support engineers, David, who did a whole session all on slot together storage solutions, which I think is going to help tidy up a lot of workshops. Yeah, exactly. Even <laughs> ours. <the> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, so that was, that was a really good one. Slot together modular systems that you can use like T slots to hang things up on. Yeah, so it's, it's a great project. So if you haven't seen that, please do. Uh, and then we had Kyle up from uh, Learn Your CNC, and he showed us how to use your rotary attachment to make a mallet, not only uh, as a 3D thing, but also using the molding toolpath mm. in VCarve, which is one of my favorite things to do. Uh, really great. Even if you don't have a rotary, definitely tune into that. He's going to show you all kinds of interesting little tips and tricks on 3D modeling and so yeah. on. Some tools that we don't focus on very often, but he's going to touch on in his video. So yeah. definitely. It's a really good session. Mm. Uh, then Todd and I had a double session where we showed everyone how we approached uh, a sign making project. Mm -hmm. Neither of us had ever made a sign before. Uh, so we kind of went through the design process and touched on like typical tool paths that you might use for sign making. And I think we were both very proud of yeah, that, wasn't we? Yeah, surprisingly, well, no, <laughs> surprisingly. that's not right. No, it, it, we, I, I was actually Well, I think in the end, yeah, it, was, it turned out pretty good. So that was all right, I'm no, sorry. Yeah, and then, and then we had Ryan from Cutting It Close who showed you or showed us how to use the three main ways of creating an inlay. Straight wall, V-card inlay, and then a tapered ball nose inlay. If you're just new to inlays and you've done, never done them before, he takes away some of that kind of nervousness maybe that you might have about diving into this. And even if you're a pro, he's going to show you some great tips on how to make your inlays even better. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then last on the bill yesterday was Andy Bird Builds. Andy Bird of Andy Bird Builds, uh, where he had a session all about how you can basically monetize your CNC projects and turn your uh, hobby into a side hustle, which is lots of useful tips. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and those, all of those sessions will live on forever on YouTube. So if you missed anything, you can always watch back. Same applies today. Any sessions that come up today, if you, you know, tune in halfway through, don't worry, you can always rewatch the start um, as they'll just live on forever, <laughs> won't they? Mm -hmm. um, right then, so yesterday we had, a, if you missed our intro um, in yesterday morning session, we spoke about the show and tell element of our website where you can upload projects and you'll automatically be enrolled into the chance of win $100 worth of clip art to spend on the Design and Make store. Um, and we've had a little look we through little this yeah, morning, yeah. haven't we? We did. Um, it's crazy because while we've been standing here, people have been putting stuff into the gallery. So yeah. keep it coming. You, you might surprise us here with something that we haven't seen. So. And Rick and I have picked out some of the ones we like to just kind of point out that are that are good. They're all, they're all good. That they're, they're, all, they're all amazing. Thank you so Thank much you. for you know showing off what mm. you made. It's always it, it, a lot of like our inspiration actually comes from Definitely, the virtual yeah, yeah. community. What are people are making, uh, and it's just really nice to see what you know all the hard work that happens in this building that you guys are like making really impressive creative projects. Yep. So yeah, I really like this one. Yeah, yes. The saloon sign for a bar tabletop. Um, I don't know if it's because we actually made a saloon sign uh, or it's to do with a bar. Um, <laughs> but either way, I think um, I think there's some really, it's a really nice project. Mm. It can make a really nice gift. Uh, I also like how uh, Jim's like took his blowtorch and just mm. giving it a little burn. So it's giving it that rustic look and yeah. something I'd like to try myself to be this honest. Looks really neat and multi-part, right? Mm. The Assembler in 13 is going to help with this one. I'm tell you, it's going <laughs> to yeah. be great. Yes, it will. Exactly. Now, I picked this one out. Um, this one, to me, I, when I was in Canada, I, I, had, I had the opportunity to have a basement, which I had a, a bar in there. Nothing like this. Nothing. This is beautiful. The, the, I, this makes me very jealous and wish I had a basement now. But this is beautiful. Um, all kinds of 3D stuff being cut here. It's, mm. it's definitely... Um, yeah, it's it's a masterpiece. I'm sure it took forever to do, yeah, and it's very sea themed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, I love it. I love all the little bit. I could sit there for for hours and just look around and see all the little details that uh, that he's put into this. So yeah. yeah, it's a really nice one. Really well done. And and the fact that it came from his inspiration of being in a club in some other country. That's kind of cool. Bringing that little bit back to your house. I really like that. Very impressive. I really like this one too. Mm -hmm. So this is a jewelry box from RHW. 
Um, it's, it's not your traditional jewelry mm -mm, box, is no, it? It's no, in no. the shape of a little tree. Uh, walnuts in there. Walnuts one of my favourite materials mm. uh, to work with and visually. Um, I like darker materials. Yeah, it looks really good. Uh, and you can see that there's a lot of work gone into this one as well, how you would have, uh, you know, profiled all the parts to bring it together. Mm -hmm. 3D, well, it might not be oh, 3D yeah, machine. Yeah, it could, yeah. could be like edge... Uh, like moulding toolpath around Maybe. the edge, but either way, it's got a 3D effect on that. Looks really good, Very yeah. Nice. And yeah, I bet you got some big points from your wife for that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking some notes here. This is good. This is really good. And this last one, <clears throat> obviously, I've got kids, and and this is really pulls on my heartstrings. I love it. I like the idea that um, this gentleman Gary he made this for his granddaughter because she wanted something with the pattern from a blanket. I think he said, which to me that's just fantastic. That's cool. This is gonna be with her until it's obviously till she outgrows it and probably packed away for maybe her kids in the future. So uh, yeah, that's that's really well done. Nice work on that one. Very cool. Yeah, really nice. And this, this is just a snapshot of what's available. We, we recommend, or we encourage you to mm. go and check out everyone else's projects. You can comment on them. You can heart them, uh, <laughs> share them with people, use them as inspiration for yeah. your own projects. Uh, and again, for those of you who haven't yeah. uploaded any projects, you know, you, if you upload one this morning, uh, again, like I said, you'll be automatically enrolled into the chance to win uh, $100 worth of clip up with Design and Make. So we'll be sort of drawing that line at around five o'clock UK time today, where our production team will pick their top three projects. And then at the six o'clock live, later on today, again, UK time, uh, we will put forward the top three into a poll that you guys can vote for and then we'll announce the winner at the end of the day around nine o'clock uh, UK time. Fun, I just saw some great Christmas ornaments just pop up there. Oh, yeah. really good, good I job. Think Dave's. Dave's, oh, Dave. Yep, Dave's does some projects oh, for Oh, nice, well, hey Dave, how you doing? <laughs> it's great, I love them, very cool. Now let's not forget about the, the bundle. So of course this UGM is free for you to, to take part in if you'd like to via the chats and so on, watch all the videos. Mm -hmm. But if you'd like to purchase any of the projects that we show off here or a, a select bit of clip art that we've added in, some nice 3D stuff that we've made, um, definitely it's here for you to purchase. It's 49 US dollars. And uh, that way you can either recreate or make any of these projects your own by modifying them if you'd like to, or just learning the process that, mm. that we go through to do these. Uh, and as Rebecca pointed out earlier, any of this 3D clip art can be sketch carved as well in your software. So don't just think, if you're not a 3D person, it's still very valuable mm. for you. Yeah. Right. Right then, so what's coming up today? So um, we're kicking off the show shortly in 15 minutes uh, with a session from myself, um, which is all about, uh, it's pretty much like parametric mm. wall art. Uh, it's one of those projects that I've always wanted to do. I know Todd's always wanted to do it as well. Um, I really like this one and I think you're gonna like it too. It is amazing. Stick around for it. It's really good, really good. And then at 1 p.m. we have Nav from our support team coming along and he is going to, he's on the quest for the perfect dice tower and he's come up with a really nice, he's a tabletop gamer and this one that he's come up with is really quite slick. Shows you all kinds of different techniques along with he's going to do a little bit with the laser module. So uh, mm. if you're a laser person or even if you're not, it's good to see what he can do with that. So yeah. definitely stick around for that one. And then at 2.15, Rebecca and I are back here with, uh, we'll talk about her beautiful project. We'll talk about Nav's amazing dice tray. And uh, then we'll also um, have a look at what we've been doing on the CNC machine. Yes, yep. Uh, and then following that, we will have a triple whammy back-to-back -back session with Todd, Randy, and John. So we've got 3 p.m. UK time. We've got Todd's, Todd's session on crafting some bowls made from the forest. <laughs> From the forest, forest there is. From we? trees from the forest, <laughs> uh, which is a re really nice project, and um, I think you guys are really going to like that one. And then following that, at 4 pm, we've got Randy Johnson, who is going to be sharing a project on how to create uh, decorative boxes using like finger joints, the box gadget, uh, which is another nice session. And then we have 5 p.m. We have John Hennon from Legacy CNC, and he's going to show you how he made this beautiful mm. table. Um, all kinds of different techniques, inlays, brass bits, all kinds of stuff. So definitely stick around and have, have watch that one. I think you'll learn a lot from that. And it is a beautiful piece. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. 
Uh, and then at 6.15, we will be back here live. Uh, we'll be talking to Todd about his forest project. Um, and we'll be having a little bit of a chit chat about what's been happening on the, in the lab. So r remember as well, the live in the labs element mm. of our website. Uh, we've got a GoPro streaming all day on our machine. So keep your eyes out for things that will be machining throughout the day. So we'll have a little uh, chit chat on that. We'll also be closing our, comp our competition will be closed at that point where we'll be putting forward our top three favorites uh, projects uh, for you guys to put um, into the poll, for you guys to choose your winner of that poll. <laughs> exactly, exactly. For the $100. For the $100. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does I make oh, it <laughs> Still early. Well, it's early, early this year. Uh, and then at seven, we have Alex Duffy. Now, he's making a project that that I think is really good. I, I, my family mm. and I like to go to the pub and we like to play games there. And he definitely is going to create something that we could take with us um, there to play some games, a whole plethora of games. So mm. definitely tune in for that. It's, it's a really good session on how to create a nice little gaming thing. Yeah, I look forward to that one. Mm. And then uh, last of the days, uh, another session from myself uh, at 8 p.m. UK time where I'll be showing you how to make some spooky candle holders. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're back here at 9.15 for our last live and sort of the wrap up of everything. We'll be unveiling the project that Rebecca and I have been machining on the mm -hmm. machine. We'll be revealing the winner of the, uh, the gallery contest, so that'll be exciting. And then we'll be making a really amazing announcement Ooh. for something that's upcoming, but we're not gonna say anything about that. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Not yet. Nope. You, you gotta tune yeah, in. Yeah, you gotta be there. You'll yeah. be there. <laughs> exactly. Or triangle. Yeah. Triangle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so yeah, we will be machining some projects, so keep your eyes out. Mm -hmm. You never know what might be there. Um, so go grab a cuppa, maybe quickly go to the toilet and then come back at 11.30 for our session on how to create 3D wall art. Right. So See you then. Later. Right on. Bye-bye. Oh, need this. <laughs>